Apple just revealed their very own AI named Apple Intelligence, which powers a ton of brand new features, including image and emoji generation, a completely redesigned Siri, as well as their Grammarly killer, which is built in for free. And don't forget about their insane AI calculator with on the fly math notes calculations. The only problem is that there's already massive amounts of misinformation about how it works, specifically from Elon Musk on Twitter, who backed Apple for their new AI, with multiple tweets quickly gaining over 200 million views, including this meme claiming that OpenAI has access to all of your data, which is completely false, and I'll prove it in this video. But before I dig in, here are some of the claims he's making, like this Trojan horse meme where he says Apple can't be trusted anymore, or this one showing Apple tricking you into believing your data is secure, and the nail in the coffin claiming that Apple isn't smart enough to make their own AI. So they're simply handing everything over to open AI and selling you down the river. And I promise that by the end of this video, you'll be running from these false claims, just like Elon Musk's employees with their banned iPhone in hand. The truth is that Apple is only using OpenAI's ChatGPT as a last resort that you can approve or cancel directly on your phone, giving it access to only the bits of data that it needs to complete your request, like this 2.4 megabyte photo, and that's it. OpenAI can't access all your data like Elon Musk is claiming because Apple is hiding it all fully end-to-end -end encrypted within your device's secure enclave. It literally can only access the data that you allow it to have to complete your request, so it's fully transparent. Going even deeper, Apple's exclusive contract with OpenAI confirms that requests are not stored by them and users' IP addresses are obscured. You don't even need to create a ChatGPT account to use it. Now you do have the option to create an account for paid features, which only then will you be subject to ChatGPT's policies. And keep in mind that it's only the third and last optional step in terms of how Apple intelligence works, with the first being on-device processing and the second being Apple's private cloud compute, or PCC, which according to Apple is the most advanced security architecture ever deployed for cloud AI compute at scale. Getting started with on-device processing, every device that supports Apple's AI, like the iPhone 15 Pro or any M1 through M4 powered iPad or Mac, uses the CPU, GPU, and neural engine to run Apple's on-device models within the secure enclave. Now, the reason it's limited to only the iPhone 15 Pro models right now is likely because this is the only iPhone with eight gigabytes of RAM, seeing as it uses up to around 4.2 gigabytes of RAM, which is over 75% of the iPhone 15's available 5.53 gigs of RAM allowed for apps out of the total six gigabytes. But thankfully, Apple's entire iPhone 16 lineup this year will come with eight gigs of RAM, so all of them will support Apple intelligence. Now, getting back to Apple's on-device models, Apple literally spent years creating their own models and training them using licensed data, including data selected to enhance specific features, not data from their users' personal phones. Remember when it was reported that Apple was spending at least $50 million to licensed archives of news articles. Yep, all of that was used to train Apple's models. And not only that, but also publicly available data collected by Apple's web crawler, AppleBot, which never uses their users' private data, even removing personally identifiable info like social security or credit card numbers that are publicly available on the web, and also filtering out profanity and low quality content. Apple then fine tunes the data to ensure quality. They optimize it, run it through a adapter layers and evaluate the performance. Apple specifically tested two of their models, a three billion parameter language model running on device and a larger server-based language model available with their new private cloud compute. And with both of them, they scored a higher human satisfaction rating than Microsoft's recently launched Phi 3 Mini AI model, which is accelerated by NVIDIA GPUs. 
It also tied or beat all of these other language models most of the time, including OpenAI's GPT-4 Turbo. Apple even evaluated output harmfulness, having by far the lowest violation rate of 6.6% on the Apple server compared to 20.1% on GPT-4 Turbo. In terms of safety prompts, Apple matched or beat all of these other models 82.3 to 90% of the time. And finally, Apple's on-device accuracy of instructions and prompts beat everything else by far, while the server was just behind GPT-4 Turbo. So once again, Apple Intelligence uses Apple's own custom models, not OpenAI's GPT models. And if you're wondering what's powering Apple's private cloud compute servers, Apple has confirmed that it was built using Apple Silicon and a hardened operating system designed for privacy. And Apple has confirmed that even they can't access your personal user data. Their custom Apple Silicon servers run a brand new custom private cloud compute OS with a built-in secure enclave with secure boot, trusted execution monitor, and attestation. This custom OS has been stripped of the remote shell, so it's not even possible to access remotely, and it doesn't even have persistent storage, so here is how it all works. If the Apple Intelligence prompt or request you made is larger than what can be handled on device, it'll send data to the PCC for the sole exclusive purpose of fulfilling the user's inference request. PCC uses that data only to perform the operations requested by the user. User data stays on the PCC nodes that are processing the request only until the response is returned. PCC deletes the user's data after fulfilling the request and no user data is retained in any form after the response is returned. User data is never available to Apple, even to staff with administrative access to the production service or hardware. It also has an enforceable guarantee that the data volume on the PCC is cryptographically erased every time the PCC node's secure enclave processor reboots. And if you can't take Apple's word for it, they have multiple layers of verifiable transparency, including making software images of every production build of PCC publicly available for security research, allowing researchers to fully verify everything Apple is claiming. And the best part is that Apple is using their own custom Apple Silicon GPUs to run all of this, not NVIDIA GPUs, which means that Apple can keep it secure while continually improving the models and features every year, and maybe there's a chance that Apple will shift more of their services away from Amazon's AWS over to their own custom servers so they'll be even more secure. So with that said, going back to all the claims and memes that Elon Musk tweeted out, you know that he's completely wrong about OpenAI having access to your data, seeing as it's a last resort, which clearly states what you're about to share with ChatGPT. Even Andre Karpathy, who previously was the genius director of AI at Tesla, who was behind their autopilot, full self-driving, and dojo supercomputer AI innovations, said that he really liked the Apple intelligence announcement with multiple steps that impressed him about how Apple is implementing AI into their software. It's so transparent that some users will end up using it for years without even knowing what it's called or how it works. And that right there is the beautiful thing about how Apple is implementing AI compared to other companies who are making you open an app like ChatGPT or even worse, making you buy a dedicated hardware device that sucks. Apple's AI works seamlessly in the background, having secure and private access to your personal data, so it can actually be useful throughout your daily life, knowing the context related to what you want it to do. And the best part is that it's completely free and it'll continue to get better year after year as Apple trains its models and as their devices get more and more powerful. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and if you did, go ahead and click that circle above to subscribe for more videos videos like this one, and definitely check out one of those two right there. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.